what is good guys it's your favorite boy jesse out here again signing in back again with another video when you get the chance go on this website um do a little research and then it, i mean i hope it just gives you that guide on ha how, how to go about getting your vehicle in the future right yeah so now the property policies are not left out of this equation. Um, if you're a homeowner, this is something you might wanna pay attention to. Um, what you need to know is that every year, the value of your home increases. Now, um, these are some of the factors that affect your premiums. Inflation, cost to rebuild, cost of materials, and cost of labor, right? Um, and this, how do I know this? Because MPAC does it. MPAC simply means um, municipal property assessment center they specialize in uh, reassessing your home and based on that report premiums do go up right so um let's take for instance i was reading the article last year the price of lumber in 2019 was one dollar and fifty cents this i mean currently a price of lumber is eight dollars this is outrageous and <laughs> never seen anything like it so um, inflation can be a big factor that affects premium. Now the cost of rebuild, cost of labor, cost of materials. Now with that being said, they're saying that since your dwelling limit increase, um, we gotta make sure, or insurance companies are saying they gotta make sure they're insuring your property to value. That it should in case something happens, they, they can put you in the position you were in before, simply indemnification, right? I explained that earlier. So like in auto policies, the claims factor or the claims payout can also be a factor that affects your premium for property policies, right? So I just wanna chip this in. If you're a homeowner and you're claiming on your property, chances are that your property is gonna, um, your premiums are gonna go up. It's pretty standard. So now I'm gonna give you some tips on how to reduce or lower your premiums, be it auto or property. I mean, but I'm gonna be specific to auto. Um, so now some companies offer activation discounts. Now this is when you sign up for um, the online account. You you pretty much get a 2.5 discount to 5% discount. Uh, my advice to you is to make a good use of it. I mean, you're saving money anyway. Little money is still money. So uh, make good use of that. Other companies offer a mon driver monitoring system. Um, some companies call it the DriveWise wise system whereby they track your driving habits, time of day you drive, um, how you brake, and the, and, um, and the speed at, at which you drive, right? So you download an app and it tracks that driving habits and every renewal, you, you qualify for a 15 to 30, 30% discount, right? So, um, I mean, I would advise you to, to, to make good use of that. I mean, most people don't wanna be tracked or monitored. They feel like their, their, their life is being tracked, but hey, I mean, if that's gonna make your insurance um, go down, why not? Just go, go for it. Um, another factor is that winter tire discount. Now, during winter, a lot of companies offer that 5% discount. If you have a winter tires on, reach out to your company, uh, let them know you got uh, winter tires on your vehicle and then you can get qualified for that discount. Also, if you notice that you're working from home, you don't drive as much uh, due to the pandemic, um, you might wanna consider lowering your annual uh, kilometers because the more kilometers you drive, the more premiums you pay. Like it's, it's, you're, you're being rated for that. So let's take it for instance, you, you work uh, five days a week you commute back and forth five kilometers and you're the distance to from your house to where you work is five kilometers but now you're working from home call your insurance company let them know you're, you've been working from home for, for a while now have them reduce your annual kilometers so you can save a little bit and for most people driving new newer vehicles from um, 2018 to 2022 um, these vehicles have safety features now, talk of the Ford collision mitigation, the backup cameras, the, the um, backup sensors, um, the rear collision mitigation, all those cool features can um, give you some discount. Call your insurance company, tell them you got um, all these safety features and you can, you get qualified for a discount. That way you can you can see some savings on your, on your insurance. Also, what you need to do is to go with that full coverage option. 
right? Which is liability and the accident benefit. These are two mandatory coverages you cannot avoid. Um, you have the option of 200,000, 500,000, 1 million, and 2 million. Now, what you need to know is that the average lawsuit in Ontario is 1.5. So you need to um, pretty much go with that higher limit of 2 million. That way you're, you're, you're covered enough, right? And also you have the option for collision coverages and uh, and comprehensive coverages or comp coverages for short. So the collision coverage is actually covers you for road accidents whilst the um, com comprehensive feature covers you for any uh, damages to your vehicle for theft, fire, and vandalism, right? So these are cool features to have on your policy. Most people go with the one-way coverage, just go with the liability and the accident benefits, but you're gonna be found wanting because what happens is that whatever damages happens to your vehicle will be paid out of pocket. I mean, I always tell my clients, go with that full coverage you never know what can happen knock on wood if something happens <laughs> you don't want to find yourself wanting right money is tight right now so hey play smart and be smart that's 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 just what it is right also there are a lot of cool features like the claims forgiveness uh this actually forgives this forgives your first at fault accident in six years that way there's no surcharge on your policy right so it's a cool feature to have make sure you go cool for that and also another cool feature is the minor conviction surcharge waiver um this is for a minor 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 uh minor convictions be it tickets speeding tickets um it actually covers you for that you're not going to see any surcharge on your policy if you have that that um that coverage on your on your policy right a lot of people go with that roadside assistance coverage as well. Uh, most people go with the uh, coverage for transportation replacement, which is the rental feature. Uh, that way, if you're if not going with your vehicle is in an accident, and I mean, while your vehicle is being fixed in the body shop, at least you have a rental you can use in the meantime, you wait for your vehicle. Um, so yeah, these are some some little, little tips um, I, I wanted to share with with you guys on um, to make sure you have the best of coverages and have the best best of life possible man um i hope this this has been helpful thank you so much for um rocking with me staying with me to the end of the video and don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't like share it with anyone you know this video might be of help to um let's grow this community man i will be posting amazing content over the next week and you don't want to miss out do well to turn on that notification bell that way you get notified whenever i post a video put in the comments what you'd like to see uh, what content you want me to uh, create let me know um, how you like this video and yeah it's your boy jesse delati out here signing out um, be well until next time peace out Poop.